Hi everybody, Skunnard here and welcome back to my channel and good news, I have my PlayStation back. Uh, bad news is it came back with the hard drive wiped and I, my Fallout save wasn't uh, backed up to the the PlayStation Plus uh, thingy my bobby cloud save thing. Uh, so what I thought to myself, rather than jumping back into Fallout um, just now, uh, I play a lot of Diablo uh, and I enjoy Diablo, so why not record um, playing some Diablo. Now I used to play on the uh, PC uh, a lot and then I moved over to the, the PlayStation 4 um, once it came out there. Um, I actually prefer the the PlayStation 4 one, um, which is strange to say because I grew up playing uh, Diablo 2 uh, on the PC and I never played the, the console versions of that. Um, so, But uh, I think the game works really well on PlayStation 4, so that's what I'm going to be playing it. Uh, all my PlayStation 4 play has been done for play <laughs> uh, has been done on one character, my wizard here, level 70 wizard. Um, I, so what I decided to do is I've not played, apart from this guy here, uh, I started playing last night for a little bit, um, off camera, I didn't record it, um, just to try out another character. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the characters in order. Uh, uh, starting from level one, and I'm going to ah, I'm going to do an adventure mode uh, play through with uh, each and every character class. Uh, apart from wizard, I'll stick with my, my own wizard. Um, I'm not going to go into too into my uh, my wizard just now, but it is a frost uh, setup, and it works really well. Um, so I probably will play uh, as my wizard. Uh, at some point. So because I was playing Barbarian last night, I think I'll go Crusader uh, to start off with. Uh, I've never played as a Crusader at all, not even for um, five minutes or so. So, oh look at him, he's all manly and cool. Uh, so I'll be playing Adventure and I'll stick with Normal as I always do for the first um, few levels and then I do bump up the difficulty for better gear of course once I've got a few abilities unlocked. So I'm quite excited by this because I've never played uh, a Crusader, I've never even watched uh, anyone play as a Crusader. Obviously I will have um, played uh, alongside people who are uh, using a Crusader. So I will stick uh, my Ring of the Blizzard on, which was, uh, I don't know why I've got that, but um, it is um, a, a starting item that every character um, that you make on the PlayStation 4 uh, seems to come with. I always take uh, the Templar as my companion for his uh, regen abilities. He doesn't have them just now because I'm uh, level 1 obviously. So let's speak to Zoltan who... Yes! You really are. Okay! Oops, sorry, skip that. You can pause it and read it. <laughs> now, this is uh, I think this is based on a new area that was added in the new patch. Uh, we also have uh, Nephilim Rifts, which no longer... Um, I can't even remember how you went about getting... Uh, into the wrist before, but I was playing last night and it just seemed natural to me that you didn't need to do anything, you could just jump into one whenever you wanted. Uh, so I'm going to take some bounties. Um, we'll go for the Cemetery of the Forsaken, because it's quite an easy area. Ooh. And obviously I'm starting a new character, so I am very weak. Um, so let us um, kill John, kill John Gorman Coffin. Okay, that's quite a mouthful. 
and we have 50 enemies in to kill as part of this I went out by mistake uh, this bounty as well as killing uh, John Gorman Koff and that is quite a mouthful uh, as the Crusader is a strength based um, character uh, the same as the Barbarian was last night I just felt I don't know I mean I'll go through my Diablo 3 history uh, let's see what uh, skill we've just unlocked there though uh, a shield bash charge at your enemy bashing them and all nearby foes violently with your shield that sounds super excuse me um, my Diablo 3 history uh, when I started playing on the PC uh, way back in the day uh, my very first character oh that was quite the shield bash that is very powerful um, I started off playing as a monk um, because back in the day uh, on the very first patch you may remember the monks were very very OP and uh, so was my monk <laughs> um, and then uh, I kind of stuck with the same character throughout my PC play and then all of a sudden I don't know what happened but all the people that I was uh, playing with just stopped playing and uh, I stopped playing as well so yeah so most and here we go uh, so all of my uh, PC play was played for, uh, with a monk and it was played always with the same group of people so and then they got bored of it they I like Diablo 3, I do, I like it better on console than what I did on uh, PC, which uh, I felt was uh, quite unusual, but what can you say? There was something I was wanting to say, and I can't remember what it was now. Eh, I can't remember. There was a point to me telling you my Diablo history and I can't remember uh, what the point of it was now. I'm sure it'll come back to me. So all we had to do for this event was to survive the skeleton attack and then uh, finish them off. And we got some items. I must say, the Crusader looks pretty spiffing actually, doesn't he? Uh, let's see if we have any better equipment. We have a short sword. I uh, suppose I will take it for the higher damage. Uh, gathering. I do prefer the Reptilian for the, the regen. Uh, and we have a new skill as well. Nope. Aha, we do. We have... Oops. Uh, slash, we have punish, strike your enemy and gain hardened senses, increasing your chance to block for a short time. Or we have ignite the air in front of you, damaging all enemies caught in the flames. We'll give this a little whirl and uh, see how it goes. Well, that looks lovely. Um, so, we haven't actually... Hmm? I think I might be in the wrong crypt, am I? Because I have killed enemies in here, of course, but my uh, count is still at zero. Yeah, I must be in the wrong crypt. Uh, of course, there are ways that you can level up very quickly. Um, there's a couple of bounties that you do level up very quickly, and it is possible to get a character all the way... Uh, to level 70 in just a few hours. Now I will do a video at some point covering that but for these characters I'm not going to do that uh, because it does uh, defeat the purpose of uh, what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you do have uh, Diablo uh, 3 on the PS4 and you do want to play with me uh, leave a comment, uh, give me a shout either 
uh, in the comments on YouTube or tweet me. My Twitter is uh, linked on my profile page and uh, we'll sort something out. Uh, I do have a couple of friends who still play uh, Diablo um, on the PS4 so they will be joining me uh, at some point. I haven't actually told them I'm going to be playing it on uh, my channel yet but they were asking me a while back um, to uh, ask me if I would play it. So now I'm playing it. Now I'm playing it. Um, ah, so I was in the wrong uh, crypt. They're all called Defiled Crypts though, so, but I should have followed the gold arrow of course. And here we go into the new one. Have I unlocked any new skills actually? So I haven't. Uh, I did let, I'm level up pretty quickly. Uh, as you do tend uh, to do. Uh, for the first few levels anyway. Um, so yeah, my, my time with the, the Barbarian uh, last night, I did find it kind of hack and slashy almost, uh, and I did give it up, I think I, I took it to level 13 or thereabouts, um, 12 or 13 anyway, and to see if it would get any different, um, I'm sure online and in the greater rifts uh, later on, there would have been some uh, tactics um, involved in it. But for the early part of the game, it was definitely uh, hack and slashy. Now, um, the Crusader, of course, starting off this way, but all characters do. Um, the only thing that changes um, in the early start, uh, the, the early. Uh, playthrough per character class is actually the distance um, in what you're attacking from. Uh, the wizard uh, and the witch doctor and the, the demon hunter you're attacking from uh, long range and the monk, uh, the barbarian and the crusader you're of course uh, attacking from close range. So that is the only difference uh, between the characters in the very opening st parts of the game um, and of course the barbarian is there to uh, tank damage, um, that is the point of them. Uh, I have completed this bounty so I'm just going to uh, exit out of this area in a little second, I'm going to see what that skill was. Uh, so we have a sweep attack, sweep a mystical flail through enemies before you, dealing a large number amount of damage. Um, I will try it out, I do really like uh, that... Um, Yes, of course you would. Uh, I do really like that shield bash because it is very, very powerful indeed. So I don't know how long these videos are going to be. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I'll maybe do maybe one or two bounties. In the early part of the game, anyway, uh, bounties do take longer um, to do. And... Uh, so the the very early part, ooh, yeah, I'm not liking that. Um, I think I prefer my shield uh, bash for the moment, but I will give this a a little bit more time to see how it goes. So for the early, pretty much. Uh, the adventure mode, um, you're grinding, um, you are grinding levels until you reach level 70 and then you're grinding equipment. That is, that is pretty much uh, adventure mode in a nutshell. It doesn't sound fun but it is a hell of a lot of fun. I do love it, I do love the grind. Um, so I'm just going to have a little, nah, in fact I'm going to return to town, uh, I'll sort out my equipment, I will uh, scrap and sell what I don't need, and then we'll jump into another bounty. So we have plus 3 vitality, plus 2, uh, and much higher armor, so we will, of course we will equip it, we have a sash, and we have gathering shoes as well, we don't have any choices there. Um, 
as far as anything else is concerned and no new skills but I'm going to swap back to my shield marsh because uh, I was really liking that and salvage yep so this stuff uh, can all be salvaged and then we'll just go through the, the rest of our inventory and junk it and sell what is left I think that's it just a rusty flail <laughs> uh, here's a merchant sell get rid of our junk okay next um, next bounty um, so we have the cost core rewards a thousand gold and three thousand experience uh, I'll go for the the scavengers den out on the fields of uh, misery just because I have a rough idea where the scavengers den is I think it's over this way I used to know these areas uh, like the back of my hand but um, I've not been playing uh, as much Diablo as what I used to uh, obviously because of the other games I've been playing I've been playing Fallout and all that good stuff um, you'll notice in my um, character setup I do have it set up so I can use uh, multiple skills from um, like I'm not limited to one skill per section um, for the early part of the game until I have most of the skills unlocked anyway uh, I certainly do yeah, I did know it was over here somewhere uh, I do tend to use one from each section and then my temper blocked that charge there I didn't even see what my um, what is that actually? Square, square, square. Uh, light erupts from your shield, blinding all enemies in front of you. Lovely. And his head went flying. Yeah. So I'm liking the, the Crusader so far. It does seem pretty. Um, He's a fairly powerful character anyway, I'll give him that. Obviously it's early days and this is just uh, the standard bounties we're doing. Once we got on to the, the rifts um, and whatnot, then we'll see how he does. Um, I done a rift last night, uh, not a greater lift, uh, rift, I just done the, uh, the base one. Uh, last night with the the barbarian and it took forever um, and I had uh, you've got to kill the the rift masters minions and the ticker was it was going up maybe uh, a couple of percent every uh, five minutes or so it just took forever uh, maybe that put me off the um, the the barbarian a little bit. So if you are new to Diablo, it will, uh, at this um, very early stage in the game, it will just look like a, a hack and slash RPG, and you can be forgiven uh, for thinking that. Once you get up uh, into the, the late game and uh, post game, um, you are, you will have your uh, typical MMO uh, setup where you will have a, a set run of actions you do depending on uh, the situation you find yourself in and it, it does get very tactical um, later on but for the the early part of the game certainly you are um, just going through the motions really 
uh, especially in the normal uh, difficulty. I'm level 6 just now, so we are leveling up fairly quickly for the moment. Uh, I usually stick with the normal difficulty until uh, level 20 or thereabouts, uh, and then I bump it up. Um, just once we're maybe not even as late as level 20, but once we have a full set of armor. Uh, not a matching set of course, uh, just uh, once we have uh, something equipped in every slot and we can actually deal with the, da the damage coming in um, that is um, uh, if you're wondering what the blue uh, enemies are uh, the blue enemies are enemies with uh, special abilities. Uh, that one is a burrowing leaper, and its special ability listed below is a uh, knockback. Um, so they have a chance to knock you back uh, when they attack you. Uh, you'll see gold enemies as well, uh, which are uh, champions, uh, and they are essentially. I don't want to say boss enemies, but they are. The sub bosses almost. Uh, you do get uh, good drops from taking them out. That uh, shield skill does have a hell of a uh, recharge. Uh, may not look uh, as if my health is going down any, don't worry I'm not cheating, it's uh, just that I have a lot. The Crusader has uh, a decent chance to block uh, with his shield and on top of that I do have regen uh, coming in from various pieces of my armour um, as well, so each time I attack I am healing. Uh, if you find the video a bit dark, because uh, it's not really going to be a problem in the overworld almost, but um, I didn't really need that healing well. This is where we want to be uh, for this bounty, and we're going to be killing all enemies in this level. Let's do it. Kill them all. Uh, if the, uh, you are finding the video a bit dark, uh, I don't think it'll be a problem in the overworld. Let me know, and I will adjust. Uh, as needed. There is a, a goldy enemy and it is Rockmaw, Devourer of the Deep and there's my health going down a bit now Patience. because this chap hits a bit harder than others and that green stuff about is a uh, I think it's plague they call it it's uh, basically poison damage uh, so we did get a whack of gold for that, it didn't get any drops from him unfortunately, and none that I noticed anyway. Um, but we did prick up some bracers there. And we're straight into some more blue enemies. Uh, if you have any questions about the series and what direction we're going to be heading, just ask. I answer. I answer every comment. So just ask, and I, I will let you know. Um, I'm not an expert on Diablo by any means. Um, I'm a competent player, I would say. Uh, <laughs> I say that about every bloody game I play. And we have a teleporter enemy here, pain in the bum because he can uh, teleport away. Um, I'm taking a fair bit of damage from these guys, so let's get them uh, blinded to take some uh, heat away from us for a little second. And let's get rid of this champion who's just teleported away. My damage output will go up uh, quite a bit once I get a decent weapon in. Uh, there's a number of different avenues I can use uh, to get a decent weapon. I can either find one um, out here and um, during a quest or whatnot. I don't have any weapon. I'm 
usually uh, dexterity is not um, a chance to deal 7% area damage plus 6 dexterity is uh, no good to us. Uh, plus 4 experience per kill, I'd rather have the life. Um, different characters. Yep, I'll take the vitality. Uh, different characters uh, damage scale off of different stats. The Crusader and the Barbarian scale off of strength. Um, uh, the Monk scales off of dexterity. I think the Demon Hunters does as well. And the... Woohoo! And the, the Wizards uh, scales off of intelligence. That's quite the chest there, so let's uh, see what we've got. We will actually uh, return to town, because that is that um, bounty done. <laughs> uh, my memory is atrocious, so bear with me. And we've got plus 10 strength, 4 life per second, and 7% gold. Uh, from monsters, I would rather have that than the extra armor point. Uh, plus six vitality, plus six life per second is better than plus ten intelligence for us. So yep, happy to take that. The shield is plus fifteen vitality, two life per second, and a ten percent chance to block. That trumps our other shield by a long way. Uh, uh, plus four strength, plus four life per second. Yes, of course. Do I have any more? Um, thingy me babies. Yep, I do have a rune here. Uh, when you block with hardened senses activated, you have a chance to explode with fury, dealing damage to nearby enemies. I will switch over to that, because that just sounds magical. I have a, also have a rune here. The shield shatters into other smaller fragments, exploding outwards and hitting more enemies. Lovely! And no other runes unlocked yet. So let's see, I have sorted out my equipment. Um, my damage output is absolutely atrocious uh, just now. Let us see what we can um, build. Do, 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 do. What level am I? I'm level 6 I think. I can't actually even build. I think I've got to be level 12, uh, at least level 12 before I can build anything from there. Let's see if uh, the merchants have anything for us. Uh, this one does poison damage. Let's see what else we have. We have... Do you know what? I'm going to take the dagger. So I have a, a big massive shield and a tiny little dagger, uh, but at least our damage output is uh, sorted out a bit. And let's uh, get rid of all this uh, stuff we don't need, and then sort out the, the rest of our inventory with uh, junk. Yeah, that's us. And sell. Sell junk! Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there uh, for this uh, first episode of Diablo uh, 3, Reaper of Souls edition. Um, can't remember the, the number of the latest patch, but we're on the latest patch anyway. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed yourself, give me a thumbs up and join me again in the very near future uh, as I continue my Crusader uh, playthrough on Adventure Mode. Thanks for watching, bye bye, and of course, hit subscribe. Thank you, bye bye.